'cause I'm happy where I stand. 'Cause you're the superstars and I'm a super fan, yeah. You're my heroes, you've got the master plan. So into you, I'm just here to cheer you on. Someone you can't count on. I live to cheer you on. Meanwhile, in Canterlot City. A whole day in the big city to do whatever we want. Oh, just think of the fashion. The food. The frolicking. That's short for frosty looking. I'm going to get my hot little hands on the new dessert trend. The puff cake. Half cream puff, half cupcake. Oh, the city is our oyster. Help! He's getting away with my jewels. Whoa! Cupcakes will have to wait for justice. Jewelry back now. You didn't need to give her the jewels to impress her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but now you'll have plenty of time to think about that. From jail? of a music festival is the music. But to me, it's fashion. An old pair of cowboy boots will keep you from stepping in a steaming pile of, uh, fashion emergency. If you've got hang-ups with hangers, look for style right outside your window. Oh, I believe they're famished for fashion. 
Well, actually, they do want me to regurgitate worms into their beaks. Innovative! Who's next? Make sure you can move, whether you're dancing at the festival or after a hat trick! Touchdown! Uh, that's not what it's called. Can't go wrong with a classic. Classic? You mean like... Always in style. Personal responsibility. Earplugs for high decibel situation. A water bottle. Flashlight and compass in case you get lost. The other kind of compass in case you need drop. And there you have it, my loves. At the end of the day, it's always in fashion to be utterly yourselves. See you at the festival! Hashtag perfect on the first try. Darlings, now it's all part of our new slang word we're calling sweet breeves. Everything's cooler when you abbreviate it. So to go, but no, no. Totes! That's an abbreviate, as in I totes have no idea what you just said. <laughs> that is the power of breeves. P to the brave. <laughs> I'm gonna hide in Pinky's locker and scare her when she. <laughs> I tell ya, no coal mining daughter of ours is going to shiny city wearing boots like those. Cut! <laughs> Snips, snails, where's the other boot? Hey! Props ain't our jobs. Yes, it is. Your job is props. Well, yes, but... Right. The play is about magic dancing boots. No one's buying tickets to see a uh, magic dancing boot, huh? <gasps> Somebody's pilfered my bedazzled boot, eh? Not good. But a new case falling right into my lap. <laughs> Not bad. Don't you worry, your sweet redhead. Redhead. Speaking as the lead whose foot that boot adorns, and the costume designer whose mind dreamt of it in the first place, let me assure you, I shall find the boot. But where to begin? Somebody's got to know something.
What do you say, Miss Pie? If that's your real name. I can't take it anymore! It was me! I did it! I'm the one! <laughs> Pinky, it couldn't have been you. Huh? It couldn't have? You were nowhere near the auditorium when it went missing. I wasn't. You were at the frozen yogurt shop. I was? You literally still have frozen yogurt in your hand. Hmm, yeah. You were just so upset I thought confessing would make you feel better. I could tell that dame had a sweet tooth. For trouble, there's still something you are not telling me. You saw something! Like, at the frozen yogurt shop. I took more than one free sample. And then I put the used sample spoons in the wrong cup. Slow down! And then someone took my spoon. This is bigger than spoons! And I watched them, Rarity! B -b -b I watched them eat my yoga germs! Pinky Pie, please! <laughs> have you, or have you not seen my boot? Oh! You mean the one under the pile of bell bottoms? <gasps> you solved the mystery! But I have so much more to confess. Solving a case never tasted so good. The moment she strutted into my office, I already knew she was guilty. Only guilty people strut like that. That's a guilty person's strut. The moment I strutted into her office, I knew I could outsmart this buffoon. The dame wasn't talking, and that was fine. I cannot talk, too. I cannot talk for hours. I'm not even talking right now. <laughs> Me neither. Looks like Trixie picked up a racket and decided to play. Little did she know, two can play this game. She's good. But I had a little special something prepared. Makeup? We could be here for hours. You win this round, Rarity. But the match ain't over yet. The great and powerful Trixie always prevails! Ow! You better clean up these rocks. Someone could get hurt. Not me, but you know, someone. Spike? Sorry. I wanted to see what it's like to be a dancer. You want to dance in the play? Oh, we'll find a spot for you, Spike. But next time you borrow a boot, ask first. Case closed. Trixie, amazing. How come nobody's talking out loud? Well, last time I saw them together was, uh, when I was building the mine shaft set, over by the costume rack. Detectives trust their instincts, and mine were telling me to check the costume rack. Lord? Oh, all the people, Maud! Honestly, I never pegged you for a crook. Who put you up to it? What do you got against my big debut? Why aren't you answering me? Why? 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 Huh. You might have thought this one is rose quartz, but it's actually amethyst. Uh, nobody thought that. They're just rhinestones, darling. Made of amethyst. The world's largest amethyst geode weighs two and a half tons. A two and a half ton bedazzling gem? Are you imagining yourself hugging it? Yeah, 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 I yeah. am. Me too. Glimmering, gleaming, glistening geos. Oh, for me! <sighs> oh, nice. Down on the after party hold down. I'm ready to throw down. Is it gonna be the best night ever or what? Suppose Perhaps. so. Whatever is the matter, girls? I thought you were excited for the soiree. We were. We even put together a super special slideshow of all the great memories we made while doing the play. But Mr. Cranky Doodle says parties are not in 
appropriate appropriation of his expensive projector. Maybe one of us can turn that heart of coal into a diamond. If he's gonna be stubborn about it, so can we. Hey there, Mr. Cranky Doodle. I heard you won't let us borrow your projector for our party. You heard right. Ooh, she's gonna have a good old fashioned stubborn off. <gasps> I'm asking nice. The answer's no. Not leaving without it. You're gonna be here a while. Fine by me. Talking overnight. Got a sleeping bag. Floor is not comfortable. Air mattress, too. You'll hyperventilate. Got an air pump. Won't let you plug it in. Foot powered. You'll get a cramp. Eat bananas for potassium. They're not in season. You're right. I can admit when I'm beat. Ha! <laughs> Great party, you guys. Yeah. Good times. Oh, oh my god! Thanks for finding my flashlight. I've missed this. <laughs> Don't worry, girls. In the fashion industry, there is no room for compromise, and I happen to be an excellent negotiator. Good evening, Mr. Cranky Doodle. Uh, hello, Rarity. I am here representing the Cutie Mark Crusaders. I understand you are denying them the use of a projector. Yes, my projector. Uh, let the record show that Mr. Cranky Doodle has identified the projector in question. So, if I am understanding you correctly, this is your projector. Yes. And you take it home with you when the school day ends. Well, no, I can't do that. Mm, that's right, you can't do that. Can you? In fact, this projector cannot leave the school premises because it isn't your projector at all. It is the property of Canterlot High School, a public school funded by hardworking taxpayers such as Applejack and myself. So technically, is this not the taxpayer's projector? My projector, Applejack's projector! Therefore, did you not lie under oath when you identified it as your own? I didn't take an oath. You're out of order. This whole projector situation is out of order. I'm confiscating it as evidence. Wait! It's expensive, and it could be damaged if not cared for properly. Also, I pay taxes too. You're saying you'd feel more comfortable if someone were there to supervise it? <laughs> Delighted we could reach a settlement. In exchange for the projector, he could attend the party to supervise said projector. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. Right, but... Mr. Cranky Doodle, come quick! There's a full-blown math emergency backstage! A math emergency? Sweetie Drop's fixing to take the square root of negative one! It's worse than I could have imagined. I say I and imagined because... a little coaching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are those girls anyway? Uh, we gotta get back 
to... Uh, 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 here's where the problem really shifts into high gear. Take that solution and plug it into this function and the square root of the sum of the second final number. Instruments? Check. Band members? Check. check! Directions to Cousin Goldie's party? Check. Perfect. We're a little behind schedule, but if we get on the road in the next 37 seconds, we'll make it just in time to go on stage for Goldie's party. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Buckle up, Rain Booms! The GPS has accounted for traffic. GP, what now? I don't need that ninny new fangly thingamy jiggy. I know me a shortcut. Your lunch, but do you mind? If a tree falls in the woods and then gets sprinkle blasted to bits, did it ever really exist? Pinky, I love your riddles, but great! Hold on to your horses, girl! Squeezing my lemon squeezy, that's my favorite cat. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> and I hope you're all prepared because final exams are in two weeks. <gasps> ah! Ah! Don't worry, girls. We're gonna ace these finals. Hey, it's true, no stopping now. You're facing a big test. So much to do, so much to learn. So bring it, be your best. Feeling doubts, forgetting facts won't get you to the top. If you're gonna make it, you got to pull out all the stops. You got to rise up to the top of the class. Go straight to the top of the class. Rise up to the top of the class. Go straight. And go in to get your mind on track. Put aside all those distractions, cause there's no turning back. But you know it just gets better when you see the end in sight. Take it on, start going strong. You can get it right. You can get it right. You got to rise up, up to the top of the class. Go straight to the top of the class. Rise up, up to the top of the class. Go straight to the top of the class. You got to rise up. Rise up, up to the top of the class. 
Welcome to another exciting school year at Canterlot High. As you settle into your new classes, please make sure everything's in order. Everything's not in order. Where's Pinkie Pie? Um, isn't Rarity in this class? But I thought Sunset Shimmer was in advanced physics with me. This is regular physics, dude. What? All final schedule changes must be made by the end of the day. I don't know what you're doing. Doing. I was supposed to be in Woodshop with Pinkie Pie. Not frou frou painting time with nobody. I only signed up for drama to be with Rarity, but she wasn't there, which was very dramatic, but for all the wrong reasons. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Oh, okay, you. Yes, <laughs> all right. Thank you. This is the strangest math class I've ever been in. That's because it's woodshop. Uh, sunset should be in here. Pinkie Pie, have you seen Sunset? Wait, I didn't know you were taking advanced physics. Advanced physics? <laughs> Thank goodness. I thought they had ruined P.E. Rainbow Dash, I'm on my way! Don't you sneeze without me! Uh, oh, no, this year's schedule is all wrong. All wrong. Oh, oh, wrong. Girls, I think I can arrange for you all to have one class period together, but this is the final change, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you! Well, she wasn't lying. Lunch technically is a class period. Best class to have together ever! Oh, sure oh. is. Um, has anyone seen Sunset? I think I'm supposed to have lunch this period. Uh... Ooh, what filter are you going to use, darling? I was thinking about going hashtag no filter. <gasps> Not to sound like Granny Smith, but why'd y'all care so much about a filter? All it does is make a new picture look old. <laughs> oh, no, 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 sweetheart, no! They are so much more. You can model the latest trend with shape chic. I'd never wear a dodecahedron. If you're missing your friends, try Flora slash Fauna. <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> We're in a band. Uh, we do that already. Fish eye. Bird's eyes. Normal hair. You guys look great. Watson. Bigfoot blurry in the background. Looks just like him. Oh, nay! Uh, woo! Party picture! This one is awesome! The cake looks delicious. I'll say. What's this filter called, Pinkie Pie? What filter? 